filter and everything. <laughs> okay, here we go. Spoken language, English. Uh, skip text, off. I like it already. Okay, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. I have no idea what this is. I've gifted a few myself, and I've always, and I'm all, uh, I've always super thankful. Yeah, I, it's really nice. People just want you to be. Gift subbing is great because I mean, one, the person gifting the sub is really trying to help that you know creator, but they're also trying to include people in on the community, and you know, just feeling more welcome. It's great. Sub gifting is a great. Uh, are you sure you want to save here? Yes. I'm relaxed. I'm eating snacks. Hell yeah, dude. There are two modes of play novel and adventure. You can switch. Okay. Can, like, the cursor not be in the middle of the freaking screen? Seven. Oh, okay. It looked like it was counting down. <laughs> Six, five, four. God, the pixelation of the graphics are horrible on this freaking. Terrible. Loud noise startled, uh, Junpai awake. And his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted the light, he realized that he did- Ow! I didn't get to read that! With a crack, uh, with a crack, Junpai had connected with something, with something metal. With a crack, Junpai's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw, uh, threw out his hand to s steady himself, but he found himself grope, uh, groping at empty air. What? Whoa! Why are like every other line voice acting? That's weird. He bound, uh, his balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on. Jim Pie tumbled down the cold gray, uh, down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? A bed? Okay. I uh, fell pretty far. Uh, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. Uh, an earthquake. Uh, but it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Uh, am I? I'm not doing that. Where am I? Wait, it it stopped. What's that sound? I have never seen triple bunk beds. That's five. What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey, hello? Is anyone there? Open up, LAPD. Open the door. Huh? Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. We got a fancy watch. Sweet. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. Okay. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? 
I don't I don't know. Why? What the hell happened to me? I don't know. Whoa, okay. Ah, ah my head. Huh. This is Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Uh, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Oh shit. What the Oh shit. Oh, oh, you got to be kidding me. No. What What the hell is going on here? Uh, no. What the hell? God damn it. Ah fuck, hey, we're going to drown. Anyone? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out and fast. <laughs> Seek a way out. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, okay. Operations during a during an escape. During an escape. You are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on the location. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the area. Use Q and E to move around the room. Okay. Oh, okay. About items. Once you obtain an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking the item in the top left will take you to the item screen. Okay. Uh, a note from the bulletin board. The note got... Okay. Investigate with uh, an item. An item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold the item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Oh, okay. Try switching out items in hand and searching different parts, uh, different places. Click the item, uh, okay, so V, okay. Picture frame? Combine? Nothing? Okay, so you can combine items too. There's a towel next to the sink. Okay, nothing here. A pipe. I know. I'll crawl into the pipe and find a way out. There's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. Man, this sucks. <laughs> that was stupid, dude. It's a table. The water's pouring onto it. It's like a little waterfall. I don't see anything useful here. The water just keeps pouring through the window. It's, uh, it's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something into the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Uh, it will open... Uh, well, it opens easy enough. Sure wish the door to get out was this easy to open. Hey! Give me that. Uh, combine. Well, the screwdriver gets the screws off easily enough, and there's a picture. There we go. Aha. Okay, so... It's red. Yeah, can I, like... I need to I need to get it to stop there we go. Fucking it's a puzzle game, yeah. Alright, so we have seven, four, six, seven, four, six, three. Seven, four, six, three. Yeah, 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 I already did it. I beat you to it. Yeah, I already beat you to it. I guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe I'll pull it. 
Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red. The display hasn't changed. Damn it. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? Yeah, why isn't it? Oh, fuck. Uh, screwdriver. No. What? Oh, no, the screwdriver's gone. No. Weirdest card reader on the side I've ever seen. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta find something. It's a puzzle game? I don't know. I gotta... Well, damn it. I already forgot what the... Oh, it's to the case. There's a tight lock. Uh, shit. What was it? It was, um... The number 101. I guess I'll need to put the key in the hole before I can enter any numbers onto the dial. Wait, I gotta put a key in a hole before I can enter any numbers on the dial? That's fucking stupid. Seven four six three. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Well, let's see if there's anything in here, huh? Looks like there's a key. A key. Well, there's a blue little key in the bottom of the pot. Odd. Got it. Let's go. There we go. Ah, uh, nothing. I guess I'm going to need some sort of code on the dial. Mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of the several uh, several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by clicking on the screen. Some of the mini games will require you to manipulate something. Oh, don't worry, Renegade. Don't worry about it, man. While others will only require you to apply the right objects or click right time. Okay. Operation instructions. Clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. What? It was, uh, seven, four, six. You sure that's what it was? You liar. I don't think it's gonna open if I whack at, whack it on the wall a couple times. I might feel better. Hmm. Keep it cool and look around for more clues. Okay. Items. Blue key in blue. Seven. Four. Six. Three. No, that is what I said. Seven, four, six, three. That is what I said. But it's a blue key. Maybe it's... Six. Three? Six, three, six, three? Wait, these only go one through five. Wait, those only go one through five? Fuck. Uh. Wait, okay, so the other, the one numbers only go one through five. Okay. And the, and the, and the numbers, the other numbers go like a shit ton. So we got white numbers. That's this. That's not right there unless it's... I'm holding it wrong. I'm like so dead. <laughs> I'm like so fucking dead. Um, yeah, seven? Mm, maybe I need to flip them? No, that wouldn't make sense. Two? No, that wouldn't make sense. Flipping them wouldn't make sense. Yeah, seven, four, six, three. I don't I don't get why that's not it.
Yeah, these can only go one to five. What the hell am I not doing right? No, I'm dead. Hmm. These can go one, zero. Hmm. Maybe. It's gonna be fast for me to look, uh, it's gonna be faster for me to look for clues. Plugging in random numbers is gonna give me nowhere fast. Okay, fine. Maybe there's something else we don't have. Damn it, is there anything else I can use? I don't think there is. A bullets and board. There's nothing on it. What? I see something clearly on it. Hmm. Nothing inside though. A red five's on the door. A small key red? Hey, what's up, Cheese? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... Uh, hey, there's water coming into the... It, into the... Not like anyone will respond. Okay. Never mind. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Uh, hello? What? Who are... <laughs> I... I can't... Uh. Yeah, that was... Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's not a game I want to play. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who <laughs> was that? <laughs> the PC... The, the PC commentary. They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in a game. In a game. The memory game. The Normamory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The Nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a Nonary game? Ugh, God damn it! Okay, so we got the key. Ah. Uh... Okay, I put the key in. Now I just need to enter the right number, and... Ooh. Are you sure it's that key, though? He wants to play- can I take the key out? Zero one zero one. Zero one zero one. Okay, so we got the red key. You guys get what we have to do. Zero one zero one. Maybe I gotta flip it. So six three. 
0101. So zeros can only go to five. And we have the blue key in, so maybe we only need to do like six three or three six. Three six three six maybe? Uh yeah. Three six no, that doesn't work because the second number can only go to fuck. Yeah, that doesn't work. Damn it. I got nothing. Yeah, I can't figure it out either. What is it? Fuck, it's so confusing. Why? It's like the blue key is making me think it's like the blue code on the paper. But... It's not. I don't fucking get it. <laughs> I don't think there's any more clues in the room. Reset. And it's like red to green. It's like red to blue on the paper. See, it's like... We're all too smart to figure out... We're all too smart to figure out something super simple. Wait, do you know what it is? Is it up? Is it upside down? I don't think so. No, you don't know what it is? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It, what the fuck is it? Okay, so zero one. The ones can only... The one can only go from one to five. The zero can go from zero to nine. And so, this is the one, this is the zero. So I was thinking, like, since we're using the blue key, it would be 6363, three, six, three, but that's not it. And then, six, uh, seven, four, six, three, we tried that, that wasn't it either. Is it... supposed to be like this? No, that doesn't work. It has to go like this, because these get the higher number. I have no idea. Combine. Left to right? Uh, yeah, it has to go left to right, because... Zero can go from zero to nine, and one can only go from one to five, and that's these numbers right here. Flip it upside down. Well, I guess we can do it this way, I guess. So that way we have... One... Eight. One eight. One eight. Two... Nine. One eight two nine. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> Getting stumped by a game. Uh I just find I just have to find the right numbers and turn the key, then the briefcase should open. I know this. No, nah, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. It has to be like this. Um, Maybe it is... Three... What about the five on the door? Well, we also got a five on our watch, too. What about... Three... What about six, three, seven, four? Six, three, seven, four. Six, three, seven, four. Fuck! I got, I got nothing. 
Fuck. Um. There's nothing left on the mirror. Doorknob? It's a mysterious device with a lever. It's got... It's got what looks like a card reader on the side. But it's the weirdest card reader I've ever seen. Yeah, there's nothing here. I think we've literally searched everything. We just have to figure out what the passcode is. I just clicked out of the game by accident. I did it again. Shit. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, Cheese? What's up, man? Hmm. Is the 0101 a pattern? My head hurts too because I can't figure it out. I feel like I got all the clues. It's C4. What? <laughs> How is that even a thing? Let me see the picture again with the numbers. Wait, I thought you went to bed. So, the non-shade in is the top row. The shade in is the bottom row. The shapes have it, you know, like this. Red to blue, but we're using a blue key. Was I supposed to use the red key? I have no idea. Search. The note goes... Small... Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this at the end? Five, zero? Someone wrote a bunch of numbers and symbols on the back of the page, huh? Zero, two, six, three. Wait a minute. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> I have no idea. Zero, two, six, three. All right, let's see if these numbers work. I turn the key and it looks like it's... How the fuck did you get that? No. Explain. What? What? How did you get that? Zero, two, six, three? Wait, 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 where'd you get zero, two? The fuck? How did you get that? I'm so confused. I, I'm so, how did, explain it to me. I don't get it. Okay, I get the six, three part, but how did you get the zero, two? I Googled. What the no, that's not fair. Mm. Okay, I, I don't get it though. Yeah, how does Google explain it? Because I'm still not getting it. So this is 6-3, and that's what it is on the paper. 6-3. But that's a 7, and that's a 4. That equals 3. I don't get... Yeah, I don't get the 0-2 at all. That's... 0 is a square. 
And two is... I had the whole thing planned, planned out and I fucked it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that at all, dude. I'm trying to like put the logic to that and that doesn't make any sense to me at all. You guys see it? I don't see it. Whatever. I'm glad the streams are helping you de-stress, cheese. Sounds like you work a lot. Oh, it opened. You're missing a note? Give me a minute. It looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? Wait, I'm missing a note. How am I missing a note? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. How am I missing a note? There's one under the pillow and one above the sink. Oh shit, are you kidding me? There's a blue, uh, no. There's nothing useful here. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Wait, wait, wait. So we had to pick blue. This fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> fucking sucks. I wasn't done finishing checking the room. Shit. It makes sense now. Yeah, it makes sense. Zero, yeah. Fucking game. Okay, whatever, that's cool. I like this game so far. I think it's kinda cool. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear you're, you're stressed out, cheese. I hope all is well, man. Yeah, now it makes sense. File, uh, if you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in, the, in them will be available on the file screen, okay? Press the left arrow to open the file screen. All right, let's see what's in the file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers. First, add all the numbers in the question to another, to one another. Rose, if I use C4 on the case, it blows the case up and I can't use what's inside the case. Uh, if you end up with something greater than a single digit number, whoa, 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 whoa. Irrelevant, the case is open. <laughs> if you end up with the case, if you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another, okay? For instance, if you have a double digit, if you have a double digit number, what the fuck are we talking about here? If you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the... No, 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 no. 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 Okay, I got a stack of... No. No, that shit was fucking... No. Huh. Huh. New material has been added to the file screen. A calculator. Press the open the calculator screen. The calculator can also calculate a digital route, which would be important to progress to the progression of the story. Uh, God damn it! I suck at math, man. Oh, this game is bad for me. Shit. Uh. We're going. We get to see in a map in action, boys. <laughs> yeah, but what the hell do I do with it? There's some sort of thing on the side. Looks like it's about the same with us, those cards I found earlier. Maybe I can slide them through here. Okay. These car uh these cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. All right, let's slide these cards and see if it works. And... 
Huh? It's not working. Why? Damn it. Do I need to do, uh, do I need, uh, do I need some other cards to get this to work? Shit, I need to find more cards now. More, more cards? What? No! Zero equals Patriots equals Lolly Lulelo equals Big Boss equals Outer Heaven equals Lazafon Terib equals Solid Snake equals Metal Gear. So is this the new MGX? <laughs> uh, thanks. Your uh, your stream helps a lot. You you working hard gives me no excuse to slack off. Everybody needs a day off, cheese, including me. I've been getting I've been getting chronic headaches out the ass, man. Oh, oh yeah, boy. All right, there we go. Fuck yeah, we in it. Uh, this but uh, this just like the blue briefcase. Yep, there's a lock on this one too, and it's not opening. Key. All right, this keyhole for the red briefcase. If I stick it in the keyhole here, all right, we're sticking it in. All right, I need the key. Got it. All right. Let's stick the key, uh, let's stick that red key in there. It's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Well, all right. I'll take, I, I take that back. I guess I can move the dial now. So it looks like I'm going to have to put it in the right, put in the right numbers and then third in the key. I do that, this thing should pop right open. Okay. No, I didn't, I wanna look at the damn numbers. Um, items. Can I combine these together? No, okay. Uh, I guess this one goes first. No, 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 no. Okay, so we have seven, four, right? Seven, four. Seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Yeah. Renegade, thanks. <laughs> More cards? Yeah. All right, we have a stack of red cards. Great. Just what I need. Okay. How do, can I? What the hell is this? Is there a way I could just play this with the keyboard and not the mouse? That'd be great. That's how many puzzles there are? Please don't. Damn it, not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one more other hint. Of course, the files. The file said something about digital root. A digital root, digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with there's a five on the on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? I'm not really sure about this. Ah, uh, whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. Operating instructions. Click three cards to select them. Uh, click three cards to select them. Digital, ah. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all currently selected cards. A uh, after you've selected three cards, click on the device. Wait, who let him p play this? Uh, two people in chat nominated this game because they, they didn't hear it. Blame them. Wait, three cards each equals the digital root of five? I don't know this shit. It's not working. All right, I need to pick up cards that have the digital root of five. All right, I have to keep adding numbers together until I've got a single digit. So let's say I've got six, seven, eight. Six, oh, six plus seven plus eight equals 21, and then add two, whoa, whoa, whoa. Six 
6 plus 7 plus 8 equals 21. Then add 2 and 1, and my digital root is 3. What? How does that work? It's 3 times 7? Or how about 8, 2, 3? 8 plus 2 plus 3 equals 13. I add 1 and 3, my digital root is 4. Oh, so it's three out of three. Oh, okay, this makes sense. So which numbers do I need to make a digital root of five? So we gotta have it equal, we have to have it equal um, five by dividing it by three. Right? Is that how it works? <laughs> so what did it be? No? No. I don't fucking know math, man. No. Okay. All right, chat. I got it. I got it. You want three cards to add up to 14. Why do I want three cards to add up to 14? You have three cards. Wait, you, ha you have to add three cards to equal 14. Why 14? One plus two plus two. Okay. Uh, I don't have two twos. I only have one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Uh, add the total of three cards. If the total is greater than 10, add two cards together. So if... Wait a minute, whoa, whoa. Add, add the total of three cards. If the total is greater than 10, add two numbers of that together. So if the total is 14, you add 1 and 4 equals 5. Oh. Really? Damn. So if it's greater than, okay, so it's one, okay, so one plus seven plus six equals 14, and one plus four equals five. Oh, that makes so much sense. Holy shit, I would have drowned it. <laughs> this is a horror game because it has math. <laughs> All right, I think this is gonna work. Here we go. That's a new noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red. Now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. You, you remember what I said and how I graduated college not because of my IQ, but because of my creativity? Well, voila. Don't worry, as every stream goes by, chat's IQ gets collectively dumb and dumber. Ow. Hey, Lumi, to make it even better, I got a whole second game of this to play. Uh, my head. Wait, is it, is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn this water. God, let me go. Don't open the door. No, it's oh, going to add more yes. water. It opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. 
This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? Oh shit, Away? we got it. Oh shit, shit, okay, I, I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. <laughs> no, he closed it. He was, he was smart. He closed the door. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Uh, Adex next. I don't know where we are. What? Whoa. People. <laughs> people. A lot of people. <laughs> That's what I say when I see a human. <laughs> Except there's sweat and panic. Um. Hey, stop looking at this, okay? Stop doing it. My bad. I uh, I clicked out of the game by accident. I keep doing that. Look at his face. <laughs> this guy is like what Twitch chat looks. This is Twitch chat's face when they see these. That's Twitch chat's face. <gasps> Look, she's looking at him too, and he's like, God, have you never seen him? And then he's just looking at him like, yeah, those are nice. He's like, geez, I've seen so many. Whoa, they're so big. I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Uh, you're not, then what the hell are you wearing? Oh, uh, well, okay then. All right, chat, I need you to contain yourself around this girl, okay? Don't get a little lewd. Don't get too lewd. You might scare her away, okay? S silver hair? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> One of us, huh? W what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! Damn, she has so much hair! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? I'm not getting distracted. There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Huh? Uh, hmm. uh. Uh. Well, I wish I had him too, Rose, so I can just look at him all day. <laughs> I wish I had my own too. Ah. What is this dialogue? <laughs> what was that all about? Yeah, what was that dialogue? Huh? 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 Oh, okay, we get a manuscript. Okay, um. Uh, no. I'm trying to find. Oh, check this out. Five, uh, five, five, digital root six. Huh? How do I? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh -huh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Huh? Well, dude, calm your tits. Hey, man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says. Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it. 
Ran down the hallway outside and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Open! Damn it! <laughs> Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. <laughs> Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. Oh no. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. Oh shit. Ugh. Damn it! <laughs> Are there any other doors? What about food and water? This looks nothing like the first one though. What? The, yeah, I know. Uh, he had, uh, he had secret taken a step when at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded into the wall, he saw a person. Ooh, it was a girl. Gachi base. My chat, like I said, I need you to contain your gachi bases, please. We have women in the room. She looked to be the same age as uh, Junpai. He, fr uh, he frozen, unable to look away from her face. Contain him. Contain him. Don't look right here. There's nothing there to see. Imagine wanting to take a shit at a time like this. You would have to go into a corner. And then you'd have to use your own clothes as TP. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't confounded by her, uh, her beauty or something, uh, equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Jim Pai has seen her somewhere before. He couldn't, he couldn't quite remember where, but he knew, he knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Jim Pai, similarly, similarly stunned. Her response suggested that she's seen him before as well. Uh. Uh. Huh? Huh? I know. Stop. They're just knees. <laughs> They're just knees, chat. <laughs> Calm down. Without saying a word, Jinpai walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It's almost as though she was held in the place by some sort of magic spell. As Jinpai stepped onto her <laughs> onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his own foot down, and the whole ship shook a se uh, second time. Yeah. Damn! The quake caught the girl unprepared, and she Watch fell. Out. Moving on instinct, Jinpai leaped to catch her, or so he thought. She did. She doesn't have any pierced ears. She's not a real female. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches away from my, uh, his own. Yeah. He was uh, flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggests uh, she still hasn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to uh for a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete. Uh yeah. A thick, muffled blanket. At last the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? What? Jumpy? Jumpy? Her words echoed through uh, Junpai's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane. Kane? 
Why hadn't he recognized it before? The girl was Akane Kira Siki? Shiki? She and Jinpai had been friends in child uh friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was uh but what was she doing on the on the ship? <laughs> she didn't really change. What kind of name is Jumpy? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feeling feeling he had thought Feeling he thought long forgotten, whoa, whoa, feelings, sorry, feelings he lo, uh, he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. His face is heating up in front of her face. You know what that means. Got G base, got G base. That's what he's thinking. He's not even thinking it. Instinct's taking over. He's just like, I wonder what she looks like naked. It goes from zero to like 200 as dudes. What the fuck? What? What's that voice? This is... That guy in the gas mask. Dun dun dun. Hey asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Nonary game. He said some people were familiar with it. What the hell's that? Wait, holds back her desire to kiss her kneecaps? What the fuck? <laughs> I just read that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how weirded out she would be, dude? What are you doing, Jumpy? There are simple rules. Read them. What Read is them. he talking about? All right, contain yourself, chat. She's on screen again. Contain yourself. Like half her body weight is her boobs. Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. We will call them number doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the number bracelets at each of your own uh, possession. Pos at each of you possess. Uh, should you should you total the numbers on your own number bracelet and find the digital root of the number equal to the number of the door, door open. Da -da 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 -da. Only three to six people can pass through the number door. All those who enter must leave and all those who enter must contribute. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So we gotta find a door that has a nine. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Nobody wants that thought? Everybody wants that thought. Come on. She's just, she, she's a virgin. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Hey, listen! Yo, Pruny! Yo, Pruny, thanks for your raid, man! Hey, <laughs> thanks for your raid, dude. How you doing? Uh, how are you doing? How are people from the Pruny, the Pruny show doing? How are you guys doing? Welcome. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Okay. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. 
There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is... The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. You love my reading voice? You know, when I read, I, I, I'm not actually talking like I do normally. I, I actually have like a, a legit reading voice where like my voice isn't actually what I, I talk like daily. It's, it's weird. And I talk in a way that I don't normally talk. How the hell can you control a, a ship sinking? I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. We have nine hours. I'm doing good, Prudy. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well. I think it's 9 p.m. We finished Amnesia, and now we're working on a game called Zero something. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. I wish you all the best of luck. Hey! You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Ugh. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Look, chat, she's not she's not what you think she is. She's a virgin. She's a virgin. She's the she's the thought. Oh, she gets the bracelet too. She's the thought. It's always it's always the the, the reserved ones that get you. It's always the reserved ones. Don't be fooled. She's like super self-conscious. That's why she's putting it all out there. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the gnomery game? What's it for? Is he some nutjob just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Why not? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. She's really the thought chat. Come on, think about it. Very well. You know I'm right. <laughs> Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! Don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this 
this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. All right, we're going to D deck. Whoa! Whoa! Does she have a tattoo under her eye? Hey, thanks, Cheese, for defending the 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 vault. What the hell? It's completely submerged. Shut up. It didn't take me an hour. It took me like 40 minutes. Damn. Leave me alone. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See, the water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. And you're saying we won't sink till then? Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Yeah, why not? Why not? Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. There. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Another door behind the stairs? <sighs> this one doesn't open, either. Uh, no, not everything in this game is voice acted, no. We'll see about that. Hey, old man, give me a hand. It is refreshing, though, that they did voice acting for this game. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere you almost gave me a heart attack you know <laughs> how did i get through that how did i get through your 15 layers of boob oh sorry it doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying it's very well made Idiots. try using your brain first huh? take a closer look Keyhole. I, I don't see a keyhole. I'll see a black screen. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too. Hmm? Is it on the other door as well? More doors. I think they're elevators. Wait, I thought you guys said you searched this floor. There's an inverted triangle button by them. They, they're pretty shitty at searching floors. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. Looks like a T and an H put together. What is this? It looks like a lowercase H with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the H. This is the symbol of Saturn. How do you... What? This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. She a hoe. You can tell. She a hoe. Then the mark on the other door... 
think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. Look at his face. She's just an ass. A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. Yeah, and I love how they got the guy to. I, I love how they got the guy who did the voice of Bato to do the voice of him. I love hearing his voice. It's like orgasms in New Year's. There, the two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. Okay. When am I going to start Just learning wait. people's names? It looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. Why is she so happy? The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. Okay. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. You think she's the masked person? Yeah, I kind of think so too. She's so she's too happy. Like she's smiling. The windows too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words, she's Emily. We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? God, this dude, I just want to hit this guy in the face. He's so annoying. And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. God, his name is Prince too. He's such a dick. Can we kill him? Oh, <laughs> you mean the numbered doors. I don't like him at all. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, he's acting like a know-it-all. That's the worst kind of people. That's the people in chat who do... Who always add, like, a smiley face at the end of their sentences. Their sentences to act like a jackass. Like, oh, I knew that. Smiley face. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. Why are you grabbing your boobs? We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. What's so bad, smiley face? Come on. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. I made this game, smiley face. Aka, I think the brightness can be turned up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yes, I'm in favor as well. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hey, Jesus. No, I'm totally against this. This is like the brightest fucking game ever, dude. For you to say that shit. I'm going to spoil this game. Oh my god, I can't believe that guy. But shouldn't we at least try? You know, there was another... Now that you guys remind me, there was another meme that Scotty used to do all the time. And I can't remember what it is. He used to do it all the time. God, there was a meme. Scotty used to meme this one guy in chat, but then Scotty went eight, like away for so long. I wonder if he remembers what the meme is. It was some viewer said something to me, and he kept memeing him. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> we don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Okay, Silver, calm down, dude. Uh, chill. Aka, hey, her boobs are big. Up. Smiley face. No, they're small. Shush. That's small. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. Dude, she should have some serious back problems. Those things are like fucking cantaloupes. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. The implants are big. <laughs> I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, 
where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Jump. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. Oh, I was saying his name wrong. Junpei. Okay. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Who the hell ta who the hell says that to I don't say that to my friends. I mean I don't have any, but I would never say we're childhood friends. That's so weird. I would just say we're friends. Or we've been friends for a long time. That's weird. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Yeah, he looks like he's about to take a shit. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? I say that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? All right, that's cool. Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. <laughs> what? Because your hair is silver? <laughs> Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? No, I don't get it. Three claws? I don't get it. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. He doesn't even look that old. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Okay. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Oh, that's a cool name. Ace? That's sick. That's that's sly right there. I like that. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. But I only see two petals. Where's the other six? <laughs> they're 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 not implants. Those are real. Those are real. Come on. Her mom gave those to her. Come on. Her dad had good genetics. Her mom and dad together had good genetics. Those are those are real implants. <laughs> They're literally about the size of her head. Hey, Garrett, how are you doing? Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is. What's up? How's it going? Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. Yo, Poliskin's here. But why is your name My Prince? My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Whoa, wait a minute. If you're blind, then how do you know you have a two on your, on your watch? You can't see? I knew it. Me next! How the fuck did they not know he's blind? This bitch would've been, he was running down the stairs, dude. How would you not know he's blind? He was running downstairs. He wouldn't know how to go down the fucking stairs without being slow as a turtle. Come on. That's BS. That makes no sense. He wouldn't know his number. That means he wouldn't even got out of his room. Something's fishy here. Something's fishy here indeed. I want to be Clover. 
He pointed he pointed out the water wasn't flowing. He did too. Yeah, there's no way. Clover. All right. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Yeah, I can only imagine. I mean, that's a lot of hair, Clover. Jesus. All right, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. Why well, have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Damn, freaking Emily! You don't gotta be such an ass. Uh, then you should all call me by my name too, because I mean, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh... Yeah, get going. What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. We're totally gonna have sex later. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is ace. Alright. Two is snake. There's no way he's blind. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... Nine. Or zero. That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. Where the hell did he go? He doesn't even have one on his hand. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Uh... <laughs> what number are you? He doesn't have one. Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Code name? The hell's wrong with this guy? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? Uh, Clover, he doesn't really seem like the type of guy to tell you what his plan is. You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. Zip. And she's going to be like, whoa. I'm going to do this. What the fuck? Why did he just go so narrow? <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> whoa. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Oh, shit. Ah. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? Damn, dude. And it's like blood in the background making it look like there's blood coming out of his head. I told you. This is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Uh. Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. Damn. 
All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> no, not Clover. We just met her. She seems innocent. Just do it. Do it now. Not one person caught on to the fact that the blind man solo escaped his room, walked down the stairs, noticed a new person, and pointed out water. Yeah. Yeah. No one did. Uh, okay. I'll do it. Like this? So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the, the number of the door, door will open. The door. door five. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I... Th then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. Why is she gotta be a brat? <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Okay. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door. But it won't open yet. You think he knows everything about it? That's why he's freaking out? Then why does he have one on his hand, though? Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Okay. I think this is like a tutorial. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back. I think he needs me. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Oh, he needs himself. Okay. <laughs> Wait, uh, don't tell me. Clover's four and ace is one. Let me eat that equals five. Add it to the ninth man's nine. That's thirteen. I mean I'm sorry, four uh fourteen. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four is five. What? In other words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Yeah, but does he actually make it out alive? We get it. We could tackle him right now. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! Ah! Okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then. Goodbye! Yeah, I don't think he read the letter, though. Clover! Are you alright? But yeah, we were told there's only one exit, and it's the nine door. Yeah, I'm fine. So yeah, he's not really escaping. We'll probably see him again. Damn it! That bastard! Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like he's taking a dump. <clears throat> Open, damn it! Damn, three dudes Shit. can't open that door? It won't budge. Do you hear something? 
Like... what? Like... some sort of... beeping. Yeah, I heard it on his watch as the door was closing. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is the dumping? God damn it! You... you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! He's about to blow up. What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Well, shouldn't have been an asshole. Oh my god, oh my god. There's no time left. Chat, this is your this is a social commentary on you should always be a nice person. Be angels, okay? Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. <laughs> what the hell? He blew up. <sighs> A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Bakum! Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Hell no! Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Uh... Oh, okay. We have five. So... nine? Yes. Santa and, uh, um, June, uh, you think you could give me a hand here? Because that would be four. <laughs> hmm. Math. Five plus three plus six is 14. Yeah. The digital root of 14, one plus four equals five. This should do it. Yes. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. I did it. I want the school boys. You guys ready? <laughs> We're gonna open it. <laughs> I want the school. His blood and guts are gonna be everywhere. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god. Good god. But is it real though? And it's not real unless we see a body. Whoa, that's pretty bad. I wouldn't go in there though, because you don't know if the doors are gonna close on you. He... he blew up. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Oh, she passed out. She got two... Uh, blood and guts gives her uh, orgasms. She passed out. All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? What the hell is this? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Because he was an asshole. <laughs> I mean, he was a jerk. Do you really? Come on. Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Damn, why so much emphasis on the F word, dude? Language. I got kids in the room. Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> I like this game. This game's cool. Makes me feel stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 o'clock then. Oh, we're getting to see his hair. 
All right, he's dressed up like he works in some kind of labor job. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. So we only got eight hours left. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we going to pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero is going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! No, I refuse. I'm not going to end up like him. Naparama is going to make you feel stupid without using any math. All right, stop looking at her chest chat. Want to play a game? He already said that. Stop looking at her chest, okay? This is going to be uh this is going to be a test in and uh resistance training. You need to resist your eyes. Look at his chest instead. Look how much more attractive his chest is. It's flat. There's nothing big and round. Soft and squishy at the same time. Um, much, much more good looking. Don't look here. Look here. This is resistant training, okay? We're trying to train your, uh, you know, your wildness. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? He's the ninth man. Blood. Oh. We didn't see a body. I'm not. I'm not. I am not assuming he's dead until we see a body. Blood and pieces of flesh. Okay. Wait. All right. Wait a minute. That's no way for a person to die. <laughs> I think he just screwed up. <laughs> that answered my question really fast. He probably set off some sort of trap, and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive! But why did he die, though? <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. He did? How did he break the rule? Huh? Hey, Dad. A croissant for when she's hungry? You still don't... All right, how about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Oh, right? only one person passed through it, though. Oh, so two people could have died if only two people went in there as well. And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> Zero said... Everyone who verified had to go th had to go? All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? Yeah. I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Yay, I'm smart. Yay! The ninth man, however, broke that rule. Damn, they didn't even get his name. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. Yeah, but what was he executed by? And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Was it really the bu was it really like the watch that killed him? What killed him? Making sure we don't break any rules. We don't know if it was a bomb or not. I assumed it was. I'm doing good, Dad. How are you? Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. 
What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. How did you notice all this if you're blind? I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Uh, sounds like it. Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Y yeah. Sorry guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. It's amazing how we can do this. <laughs> I mean, all I see is dots. How the hell do you decipher this? Since you are not blessed with sight. Okay. I shall bless you and only you with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of... The red is a recognition device. Okay. It will verify your number. I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you and people who you are about to meet. He placed the bomb inside of us? How do we not feel a little weird? What? How big is this bomb? How small is this bomb? <clears throat> well, we know where the we know where June has her bomb at. Cause she she a thought. So, she wouldn't even notice. The big boob girl, she would notice, though. Because she's a virgin. So. But how did everybody else not know? You swallowed it while you were unconscious. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. That means we can shit it out. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the man with a plastic stomach had found it way too small interesting. Okay. In other words, you would be unable to negotiate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit more. Okay. Think of it as a remote fuse or timer for the bomb in your body. There is only one condition to call it a mate. Oh, uh, yeah, why 80? I know, why, I was thinking that too. I was like, why 81? That's such an odd number. That's a minute and 21 seconds. That's such a weird number. 
Okay, so Wait, so that that guy died because the three people he threatened to open the door didn't verify they're dead. But what is that? What's the dead device? You need to pull. You need to only pull the lever at its side. At the dead. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red in 81 seconds, you will be dead. Alright. You must also keep in mind that the number doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. After 9 seconds has passed, chat. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. So if you don't, so if you don't, oh, so if you don't go through the door, you're good. Once the facelift is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the air exciting Larry's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off from the same body to air, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying, only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Mm, so since he didn't vi No, he verified his number. He just didn't. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The Reds, Deads, and Bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, <laughs> jury, and executioner. <laughs> what was those noises for? Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Come out, damn it! Oh, okay, they're trying to hack it up. Okay. I was like, what is this it was random noise? Me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? He just got back from the movie theater after watching Saw. All right. I'm going to ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Yeah, I saw that, too. I did as well. Me, too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so... All of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. Oh, claiming to be Zero had a mask on? So they're skeptical that that person was even Zero to begin with. Okay. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. Nobody said anything about home or midnight. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Yeah, sure it was. Liar. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. What a liar. Why'd they single him out of all people? That was weird. So, I have a question. 
Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. Why is Clover br uh, blushing? Or is that blood on her face? So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. <laughs> that means I'm his little sister. You guys look nothing alike. At all. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Yeah. I can't really get an idea how old Snake is, though. Probably, like, late 20s, early 30s. He's a major dick. Well, yeah, but... She has to be before, like, she has to be in her 10s. Her teens. Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. 32? You think he's 32? Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Yeah, you blabbermouth. Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Is it that, is it that simple, though? Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, get, I like how he's the dude, bro. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! Do you guys really give a shit about that guy anyway? No. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. You guys are wasting some serious time. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. We don't have much time. We got to get off this ship. Oh my god, enough. All we're doing is talking. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. Are you really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well, then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Damn, she told you, dude. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Why not? Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. Oh, come on. This is not about you. This is about it. This is about the better of the group. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. And we were doing so well. 
Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh my god, you guys are being such bitches. Oh, Santa, not you too. <laughs> His name is Santa. <laughs> Santa's such a bitch. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. Oh my god, who cares about your shoes? Your life is on the line. Your money will mean nothing if you're dead. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. Oh my god. Freaking teenagers. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? God, he's a typical kid. Always complaining, doesn't give any kind of solutions. Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. <laughs> he's like, I want to get away from this kid so bad. I would too. Just can we just kill this kid and just be done with it? Fine, I'll go into door five. Uh, five is the door where that guy blown up and his blood and guts are everywhere on the wall, so they don't want to see it, and they're scared. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? Why do they want to go through five? Uh, I mean, they only have two doors to go through, five and four. I'll go. It's the only doors to choose from right now is five and four. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. So they have to split up. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? Yeah, it was on sale. Yeah. There's What's nothing up, Silver you Wing? have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven and Snake is two. So that's nine. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital route will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. Whoa, she's wearing a mini skirt. She's wearing a skirt. The four of us can go into door five. Four of us can go into door five. Wait. Wait. What about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Uh, six plus eight, 14. What was his? Five, nine, 19. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Oh no, uh, Santa. Uh, what's Santa? Three, yeah, three. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? Uh, all right, what we got here? We got 11, 17, 22, four. Eight plus three plus six plus five. Jeez, I was two. doing math, okay. So, Thanks. The digital root of twenty-two, two plus two equals four. This game is great. Yeah, so far it's pretty cool. I like it. I think it's really interesting. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Okay, so we split up. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace, they would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse. I never want to see that closer. thing again? I never want to see that thing again, but something tells me that it would be good to examine the corpse. Wait, what does he mean by thing? His dead body? It's kind of an odd way of saying it. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. 
Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... which door? Oh shit, okay, so I get to actually pick? Okay. Uh... Alright, I, I can either go through door five and prevent June from going through door five. Or I can go through door four and force June to go through door five. Save? <laughs> can I? Am I allowed to? The controls on this are weird. I can't save, man. Rip. Now, nah, oh, is it in menu? Save. Okay, cool. Uh, no. Menu. Files. Uh, flow. What is flow? Escape tip number five. You can jump to different uh, places in the story by using the flow chart. Both story segments and escape rooms can be viewed. The choices you make in the flow chart will affect your story progress. All controls during minigames is done by clicking the screen. Wait, what's the flow chart? Oh, is the flow chart down? No, 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 no. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, that's fine. I just need to stay by her side. Yeah, I think June's in on it. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Hey, what's up, Prodigy? Looks like Ace and the others are going. <sighs> now then, goodbye. Be careful. Oh, God, we got to go with Emily, though. That sucks. <laughs> We're stuck with Emily. Em oh. Jesus. So horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Yeah, that door would have closed by now. Let's go. Okay. Hey! How is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, we gotta deactivate the 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 detonator. <sighs> hey, there it is. That's gotta be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We gotta authenticate. Uh, yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was the wondering. Beating. I was Stop wondering it. what the dead thing was. Whew. Looks like it stopped. Hey guys, are you doing all right over there? Yes, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. All right. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Ah, oh, man, I can see this going bad really fast. Now it's our turn. 
I'll go first. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right, let's go. And we gotta wait, who's gonna betray who? You know there's gonna be someone betraying somebody. All the haunted houses suck. Run! Oh, damn. It's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no, how many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving! Oh. Then move on to the next one. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! Hurry! It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! Lucky. <sighs> Dude, we are so unfortunate. We got not only Lotus, but we got Santa. These are the two most annoying characters in the game right now. <sighs> no, it's 121 <sighs> seconds. There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. A keyhole. What's this mark? It... mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. How does she know all this? Hey, welcome back, Cut. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun, Saturn, and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. B-92 and B-93. The door on the left has a B-92. And the one on the right says B-93. Yeah. All right, let's open them. I'll open B-92. Okay, I'll get B-93 then. One, two, three! They're both gonna open. Hey, I knew it. It opened. And they're both gonna close. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Oh, thank God. We freaking split up. Seek a way out. Room 92. Okay, so they give you a top view, and then they give you... That's the starting position, okay. We're looking, okay. And then we got a couch, a table. We got a toilet. I guess that's a, a shower. A bed. Okay. Uh, oh, you can just press Z to save. Shit, I wish I'd have known that. No. 
Uh, flow is down. That's why I couldn't do it earlier. Okay, flow is down. Uh, tab item. All right, so we got the flow. Oh, we would have got a different thing if we would have went to the other door. So we would have got a completely different uh story. Then we're Jesus. And then we're gonna have a conclusion. So it looks like we're gonna meet him here. And then we're gonna have three different paths. And then that's gonna take These two lead to the same thing. That leads to something else. So this leads to the same conclusion. And then these lead to three possible. That leads to Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many options. Holy crap. Okay. Jumpy, where are you? Uh, where are you going? Uh, I was thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Do you think maybe you could look around here a little more before you go? There's a lot, uh, there's a lot of, ah, uh, there's a lot for me to do here all by myself. Fine. That vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are you gonna steal it? Hee 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 hee. I've seen some uh, VNs with like a hundred paths. Holy shit. Really? That's insane. Time to replay the game 10 times? Hell no. Hell no. Hey, welcome back, Cut. Is this, this one of those anime games? Nah, man. It's not one of those anime games. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, I see a deer This is a kind of a weird looking painting. Do you think it's a abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant like nose. Sucking on a human being's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? I can't say it I'd mind I can't say I'd mind finding a little more out about what's going on in there. I'm not seeing what the hell she's seeing. Okay, I thought this was a horse's face, and then that was a horse's like leg, and it was missing a leg, and then it had like a wing getting sucked on by like a vine, and its leg was getting sucked by a vine, and then these were coming to get its back. Its leg was amputated, and it was its other leg was like stuck in some kind of mud. And then that's its arm. That was that was its arm getting taken off. I had a completely different look on this. No anime here. What's this? Ah. Jumpy, what are you doing? Well, why is she so mad at me? We don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. I, w I, I was just looking... All right, we got some matches. Oh. oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Oh. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Ah. Uh. Oh, we get relationship choices. Yes. We weaving boys. Um, see here. Yeah, I guess I am. Hey, come on. It's not like that. We're going in for the, we're going in for the kill. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> giggle, giggle. By the way, Jumpy. Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. Time for all the waifu love. I mean, come on, June is pretty. You can't deny that. June gets that simple, simplistic, innocent, pretty to her. 
but she's probably an undercover freak. It's always the pretty reserved ones that are the undercover freaks. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? Whoa! Look, I don't like these accusations. I didn't do anything to make... I didn't do anything to be suspicious. What's wrong with her? Yeah, she got a fever for this. No, why would I? She needs to calm down, dude. Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. The only thing he's hiding is his boner. <laughs> <laughs> I think she would spot that I think she'd have okay time spotting it Hey, what's that in your pants? Why is it sticking out? Uh, that's my, um, uh, my, my phone It does that sometimes It falls through the pocket sometimes I don't have, my pocket has a hole in it I mean... Why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Yeah, I know. I was thinking that too. That's why I think you're that's why I think you're in on it. Cuz that just doesn't make any sense. I get siblings, but why friends? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? Ooh. What would I hide? Dead ass. Well, I I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean like the number of men I've dated? Well, I mean, we both know that's pretty high. And how is that relevant? That's not... I told you, dudes. You guys didn't believe me. I told you. I told... It's always the reserve ones. It's always the reserve ones. The number of men you slept with, not dated. Same thing she means. <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> Don't worry. Only 18. <sighs> Time zero. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Bullshit. <laughs> Times one. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. <laughs> Why are you blushing? She likes this chat though. You should feel you should feel good. She likes you. She like she likes you. You're the player. Times five. <laughs> She's lying. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Uh huh. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Yeah, that's the weird thing. You guys are like grown adults, right? Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? When she woke up, she was on D? I think that happens to her a lot. Yeah, I do. So? She probably slips and lands on D2 all the time. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh. Um... Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers or maybe the principal. She's not going to cut me in my sleep. Or the janitor. Or the lunch lady. No. I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. That was so weird. I got all that for just picking out matches? It's a display case. But there's nothing being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty too. It's a round wooden table. Do you guys like this game? I like this game. 
I think it's cool. Uh, there's a door now right there. Yeah. Oh, this is a bathroom. Now let's check the toilet. There's nothing there. The tank's empty, too. There isn't even any water in it. A collection of full, partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Okay. It's a shower head. It feels dry, too. This probably means no one has used it in a long time. Okay, I can't click the door. Okay. A little blue platform protruding from the wall, uh, the shower wall. I used the shower once, so I know. I used a shower once, so I know. <laughs> what? Once? That's the shower knobs. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. <laughs> once? Like, what? Is he... What? Is it like co culture appropriate to take baths? Oh, okay. No water's coming out. It's a little weird. That's the bathroom wall. There was a square tile all over it. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Uh, yeah. Why don't we go back to the living room? Okay. Let's go back. That has to be so weird for us to follow us into the bathroom. What's going here? Uh, what's this? It's a bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. They probably have it because uh, your throat feels dry when you wake up, you know? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did, uh, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, do you want to take a shower together? Well, what, what? Did you want to take a shower together? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Too late to take it back. Um, My brain's already working on the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. <laughs> A wooden, a wooden cupboard. There's uh, cups inside, surprising no one. It's like she knows that she's a girl and dudes are attracted to her. So she's like, yeah, every dude wants to see me naked. It's a light blue blanket with some design on it. Someone made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only, there's only bed sheets under the blankets, nothing exciting. What about the pillows? There's uh, two pillows next to each other. I guess it's a double. Huh? What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fe is her fever back? You're stupid, dude. She's thinking about getting it on with you, man. She likes you. I told you. You guys didn't believe me. It's always the reserved ones. You need to understand, chat. It is always. The reserve ones. Always. Every single time. They they the freaks. Hey, are you alright? Do you need to lay down for a minute? Uh, I'm fine. I think I'm still a little uh I think it's still a little early for that. Huh? Yeah, seriously, are you okay? Are you really okay? I mean, come on, man. She knows what's up. This isn't a painting. Is it a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. All right, cool, we got a map. Uh, map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a map of the ship's uh, floor plan, which you will acquire over the course of the story. Clicking the green parts of the floor will allow you to see a bird eye's view of the room. Okay, that's cool. How do I go to the map, though? <sighs> this ship is bigger than I thought. Have you played this game, Pruny? <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. 
course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? No, what did he say? Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? No. no. Hmm. That's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... A replica of the Titanic? The actual Titanic? <laughs> That's not possible! It would be a replica, dude. I want to see what she says for this, though. I want to see if she yells at us. The actual Titanic? The actual Titanic? You mean it, like, slipped through time and ended up here? Before the ship sunk on April 14th, 1912? Uh, hmm. Huh? What the hell are you smoking? Huh? Did I get it wrong? No, no, that's not... I mean, come on, I mean, slipped through time, seriously? I was talking about the controversy surrounding the Titanic. Controversy? What do you mean? Haven't you heard of it? It's pretty famous, you know. The Titanic had a sister ship that was essentially identical. It was called the Olympic. Oh, yes, I have heard of that. I think I heard it was troubled by a lot of problems. And the company that owned it didn't know what to do with it, right? So they made the Olympic up to look just like the brand new Titanic. That's right. They also took out a huge insurance policy on it before it set sail. That would mean that the real Titanic never sank. Yeah, the ships got swapped. The real Titanic was renamed the Olympic in secret. Huh. That's interesting. They used it as a passenger ship for more than 20 years. Hey, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean it retired in 1935? Huh? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I guess sometime around then, yeah. Well, what happened to it after that? I heard it was dismantled. Dismantled? Then it doesn't matter, does it? Whichever boat the real Titanic was, it doesn't exist anymore. It was either retired and dismantled, or sunk in the Atlantic by the curse. By the curse? <laughs> what curse? But then that would mean that this ship is... Wait, w what did you just say? Yeah, right? Like, you're just gonna overlook that and not explain it? You can't just say that. Huh? Sank in the Atlantic because of what? What the hell is wrong with this girl? She comes off, she tries to come off as like cute and innocent and she comes up with like all these weird conspiracy theories and like a thirst for penis. The curse. What do you mean a, a curse? A curse is a curse. She must be Canadian. She has to be Canadian. She must be adjusting to the legalization of marijuana in, in, in Canada. This is the only thing that makes sense. This one is the curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. Uh-oh. They say that the mummy had a history. Uh-huh. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? <laughs> so you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? Sounds very far-fetched. That's right. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. Right. I don't buy it either. It's true. How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. It was a mysterious mummy. What is so unbelievable about it? 
Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. It, it was a pretty mysterious mummy. Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. Hey, TJ. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, I, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And what are you guys talking about? Yes, saponification, but that's not what it was. I had no idea what that was. All right, saponif saponification. Huh? What be this? This is a waifu simulator. We're trying to pick our waifu. That's not it. Right she now we're wax. right now we're uh, investigating uh, June. Right now, alone in a bedroom, and she wants to get on in that little twin bed, but she, now she wants to talk about mummies. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. What? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. See yourself out of the chat room right now, Silverwing. <laughs> that was terrible. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even uh -huh. though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't no? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? Maybe. No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That was so random. Like, like that was so random. <laughs> we got all that from a map. It's a, it's light. Uh, even, uh, even if it's heavy. That's light. What? Okay. A mirror. This is uh this is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey. We don't have time for that. Come on. It's not like there's anyone here for you to, uh for you to need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Mm, forget it, Jumpy. Hey, we got a key. All right, we got a dresser key. There's nothing inside. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top of it. Okay. Wait. Okay. Uh, items. Search. A key. Do you think it's a key to the dress? Wait, wait. Found in the dresser. Maybe I can use it on another similar dresser. Okay. A chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Uh, okay. I am starting to see why the big bad wants to kill them all. The world doesn't like that much crazy anymore. What's wrong with her? She's okay. 
Wait, there was there another dresser though? How do we do the um Is it How do we go to the map? No, no, the, the menu map. Is the only dresser is here. We searched everywhere else though. So what in, there's nothing useful in there. Hmm, okay. Jumpy for sure is in the doghouse. Oh, there it is. Jumpy, where are you going? Why? What do you mean, why? I'm, I'm going to go, uh, go check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. All right, off to the other room. Uh. Wait, wait, so we're in... The, is there like a short key to the map? There it is. Okay, so they got an identical room, pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty identical. So we got the dresser from here. The room in the back is dark. Aren't there any lights? Ah, we got the matches from the other room. Huh. There's a light switch, right? Sweet, I could use some light. Shoot, no dice. You think the bulbs are burn out? Either that or the uh, electricity to this room was deliberately shut off. I don't really give a crap why it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work and we can't do shit about it. It's way too dark in here to see anything. We're going to need some light. All right, so we need that candle in the living room. Oh my God, I just want to go to the fucking living room. It doesn't look like this light uh, can turn on. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and find something else that can light up this place. Yeah, the candle. Jesus. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. All right, uh, combine. Shit, I did it again. It's so easy to click out of this game on accident. Oh no, I think I fucked it up. I'm not seeing the game. Oh no, I think I fucked it up. No! Give me a minute. I can't see. Oh, this is weird. No, when was the last time I saved? No! No, dude. The only thing it's showing on my screen is the top bar of the game, but all I'm looking at is my Steam page. Oh, man. God damn it. The game fritzed out. God, that sucks so bad. Oh, come on, there has to be a way to save it. There has to be a way to save it. Watch on stream and play with the light. I can't fucking, I can't even like interact with it at all. I can't interact with the game at all. All right, something's going on. I hear dialogue. Shit, I got a, I got a fucking alt five. Wait, 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 wait. That didn't work either. No, nothing's fucking working. God darn it, that sucks. That means I lost all my progress from the last save. Uh, how about I do... No? Nah, it's fucked. Yeah, it's fucked. Great, that sucks. Well, I guess... I guess that'll conclude my stream for today then. That sucks.